everybody. Welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Before we get started today, I want to talk to you about private internet access of VPN. You ever feel like you're being watched and not by the neighbor's cat silently judging you out of the window? I mean, that's happening too, but you are being watched online if you didn't know. Well, enter private internet access. It is a VPN ninja that keeps you hidden from the prying eyes of the internet and the people who want to sell your data. It's like putting on an invisibility cloak every time you surf the web. If you're stuck in the magical land of content not available in your country, like it is here in Canada, especially with the news, a VPN is something you're gonna need. You wanna access Netflix from a different area that has better shows? VPN. You want to protect your data, your online surfing, you don't want prying eyes? Private internet access is the VPN that you need. It's your secret tunnel to global content. That's I like that phrase. Now, if you didn't know what a VPN was, it masks your IP address, which is the address of your computer, and keeps you anonymous online, something you absolutely need to be using in this day and age. Have you ever used your laptop or your phone and like airport Wi-Fi or restaurant Wi-Fi? That stuff's actually pretty dangerous, and using a VPN protects you from the dangers of people phishing and hacking into your devices. Using private internet access, this VPN allows you to bypass things like geo restrictions and things like Netflix and gaming and all the stuff online. It breaks down digital borders, gives you safe online transactions. Guys, I've been talking about VPNs for a long time, and this is one of the most important factors. It prevents websites and advertisers and social medias from, from tracking your behavior and logging it and selling it to other people. It's also good if you do remote work like a lot of us are doing. So if you're working remotely from home, a secure VPN is exactly what you need and private internet access is that thing. And safety on social media. We're all on there right now, every single one of us. And because private internet access has teamed up with me, that means you get a sweet deal. Click the link below in the description box or the first comment to get 83% off your first two years, plus four extra free months. That's crazy. Which comes to just $2.03 a month. That is absolutely nothing. It's less than a quarter of the cup of a coffee and it keeps you protected online. If you Again, if you guys aren't using a VPN, you absolutely need to use a VPN. I installed it on my computer. It took me about two seconds. You click here, you choose where you want it to go. Obviously, I'm hiding my IP from you. And what you're seeing it, but it tells you what your IP address is, and then you can select where you want to go on the map. Oh, I want to watch Netflix in like Honolulu. Click that, press this button, Bob's your uncle. Now you're on the internet and you are safe from prying eyes. That's how easy it is to use. You don't need to be calling your nephew or your kids over to help me with my VPN. It's so simple to use, so simple to install. Just press that big button and you are good to go. Again, 83% off your first two years plus four extra free months. This comes up to $2.03 a month, guys. It is a really, really good deal. You wanna make sure you grab this deal if you're not using a VPN already. This is your opportunity to get that VPN. Please, please use a VPN when you are surfing online, especially in this day and age. Privacy is at a premium. It's the new currency is going to be privacy in the future. And the more you protect yourself, the safer you are. Okay, I'm, I'm serious. I use a VPN every time I surf the internet, especially when I'm in a public place. Okay, so do yourself a favor, get private internet access, the VPN that you need today. Thank you, private internet access, for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get to it. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh, thanks for joining me. Well, today we're talking about Kira's second honeymoon adventure. It's not very long because she's very lazy and that's just what she does, but she wanted a vacation to Eshkoret and we're making fun of her and her huge giant zit. It's really fun, and so let's do that. So if you're new to Kira, brace yourself for the cringe. Okay, Kira, I, I, I should recap. So Kira was a, on a family vlog called OK Baby with her husband, or her fiance, Oscar. They were not married. Um, and she decided to take her nanny's husband, who was also her best friend, took her husband. They were cheating with each other. There's some convolution in there about how it started. Did, did Hannah have to do with it? I don't know. But I had a whistleblower that came out that said they were approached by them in Vegas for a threesome and they told her that they had been seeing each other from nine months before that period, which would put her back way before the breakup with Oscar. And so Kira has been trying to pull her life together out of the ashes of her being a complete asshole and a, and a homewrecker and everything else. And she wrecked her own family and she just doesn't care. 
So she got her fame and her wealth and everything else from exploiting children. And then she just threw it all away, which is whatever, um, to be another a-hole in, in a different way. And so we cover this because that's who she is. And that's who these people really are. You look at eight passengers. You look at the reality of who they really are in the end. And the only people who really suffer are the kids. And so that's what we do here. We call out buttholes. And I hate influencer culture too. So it's really fun to make fun of her for that because she's kind of gross. So let's see part two of the vacation. The last one was just like, here's some things we did and we ate food. And my zit. Needs a helmet. <laughs> when I should to get a ticket, like an extra ticket for the zit. Good morning, beauty queens. It's been not quite a few days since I saw you guys last. I think like five days. You guys, this both. Days ago, the last time. Five days ago. You're filming this in sequence while you're on vacation. So she's planning this ahead. Be like, I think it's been five days since I saw her. She, she, she needs five days to edit a six minute vlog. I would love to see her editing like layout and how she does this because, oh my gosh, five days to edit six minutes of video. You're bad at this. Hire somebody else. I, mean, I saw you guys. We got here. We went to the park the next day, the Explorer Park. That was by far my favorite one. The next day, we went to a different park that was like a lot more about animals and wildlife and like the culture and nature of Mexico. And also, it was really cool because at night they do like a whole two hour show about just like Mexico's history and again their culture is super cool great dancing great music the best part of it though truly was that you got to eat and watch the show and mm, that looks, looks good though not gonna lie the food was all very different than anything I've ever eaten before and we kind of just took some days to just enjoy the hotels and while well, I filmed it for everybody these like the pool the food you guys the food I have eaten my body weight times 55 in food since Body weight times 55. So you're what, like 175? So what's 175 times 55? 175 times 55 is 9,625. So she's eating 9,625 pounds of food. That's, that's quite the feat. No thanks. It's quite the feat. That's a lot of food. We've been here. And then this morning we went to Census, I believe it's called. And so then I was focusing my camera. It was kind of trippy. I'm not going to lie. It wasn't my favorite one, only because I'm somebody who's very paranoid. You guys know this. What is it paranoid? What are you doing? I'm not even zooming in on that. I'm not even zooming in. What do you paranoid? What do you mean? Paranoid? It's paranoid. So paranoia has nothing to do with the sensory stuff. So you have sensory issues. That's what you meant to say. You have sensory. So does that zit. That zit has sensory issues. Okay, it has its own brain. That's it. It's like in high school, I think. It's like, it's going to take his SAT soon. This is nothing new. I don't even really know what this is, but look how cute. Look. They're toilets. <laughs> They're turlets. This part of the park was so cool. It's basically flat land, but it gives you the illusion that it's built on like an uphill slant. Are you sh... Because that is a good illusion then. What? Kind of cool, actually. So they built the houses to go lower. That's cool. It's crazy how this messed with my eyes. It literally made me dizzy. That's called an optical. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What are you, what are you wearing? <laughs> the water shoes. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kira. No. This is a no. Where did you get this? This is the one I made fun of her on Instagram for. It's like, I say, it looks like she found it in the dumpster outside of a Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> what did you get this? Did you try it on before? <laughs> oh, Kira. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's the water shoes. <laughs> At least the water shoes match. That's. <laughs> and now I was just walking on the flat ground. <laughs> Okay, let's hope they don't come out of their room. <laughs> We're right next to the painting studios. We got beautiful forest out front, and then there's a pool up there for like this building. I believe each building has its own pool, right, baby? Hey, baby, Yankee. And then this part I think is super cool because to get into your room, you use your bracelet. Oh my gosh! Light totally technology. Anyways, when you first walk in the room, this is the view over here. Wow, thanks for this amazing view. That's completely out of focus. I love the view. It's like. Is the bathroom. This is where the rooms. Like, focus it. Like get different. Some baths are outside. This room, the bath what? is right here. The sink. Obviously. 
I think the sink is super cool. It's like connected to the headboard. <laughs> and then over here next to the sink, they have all of these things. They have like after sun. This is my, and they have so much. She needed the after sun too, cause she got burnt crispy. Looks bad too. Ooh. Stuff just in case you forget your own, which I've been to hotels where they have like a blow dryer, but girl. Yeah, two faced razor, the whole thing. And then next to the bath is over here, the shower. Yeah, okay, she's being paid to do this, this is why she's doing it, okay? And it's a write-off completely if you film it for your channel. That's why I film my, my vacations. It's a write-off. This shower is one of the most amazing showers I've ever showered in. Wow, take a shot for how many times I say shower. And you shower a little bit on Take a shot for every time you show your zit. We'd be dead. Anyways, it's really pretty, very spacious. The bathroom, okay. And then the closet. What? This is also another really spacious part. <laughs> say spacious one more time! Yeah. Is the main part of the room. And I love like the light colors. Not light colors, they're fun colors. Just say colorful. Yeah, you just say colorful. That's what the word you're looking for. But it's like not overbearing. Like I feel like sometimes I shut up. You're not now. You're like an art connoisseur. Shut up. Come to Mexico and I stay at the hotels or resorts, whatever you freaking call them. And I'm not gonna lie, like it's a little too cheesy. I don't know. I just feel like the art and the detail in this place is so unique. Anyway, shut up. Because you have the kind of you guys is look at my bed. The, like floating bed, and then this is the fridge. Also, we got this really. You already showed us this garbage last time. Cool, um, like you suck at this. Some hand painted mezcal bottle, and then over here, these that we get to take home. Waters. How cute are these freaking cups, you guys? I want to take them. Oh my god, scale these and smuggle them. Nespresso, more water, and then there's like different little, there's like Mexican snacks. I love this flavor of margaritas. I really do recommend if you go to any of the parks, which are mm. free, if you stay at A fun inclusive, Babby. Babby. Either of their hotel. Do you just, do you know, you saw it? You saw you spelt it wrong, right? Unless Babby's a word. Is that a different word? It's baby, right? Then you what an idiot. She's the one who spells dining room, dining room. There's too many people that spell it dining room. There's not two ends in dining room. Okay. All right. The more you know. Can go to the parks for free. So it's definitely worth it because otherwise. Stop saying things are free. Okay. It's like the same Canada. We have this, this tax problem. Everybody's like, it's free. Why would you not want to give free lunches to kids and all the stuff they're arguing about? Nothing is free. Okay. You pay for it. Like, I, I, they call our healthcare free, but I'm also taxed at over 50%. It's not free, man. I'm paying for it. A lot for it, too. It would be, I'm going to get into a little bit of a political rant because it's, it's hotting up over here in Canada, okay? It's hotting up. Housing prices have, like, quadrupled in the last eight years. Quadrupled. Okay? It takes months and months to see a specialist for anything. People are dying before they get to see a specialist. So yeah, we we get free healthcare, but you don't get it. Cause there's you can't even find a doctor anymore. Okay? Rant time. I'm pissed. If I were to move to the States, which I would love to, okay, and paid for the highest tiered healthcare out of my own pocket, it would still be way cheaper than living here and being taxed at over 50%. Okay, and then Trudy, haircut, gets gall to put a carbon tax on the environment. Like, that's going to do anything. Needless to say, Canada is almost carbon neutral or plus carbon. Meaning we have so many trees to take in the carbon and put it back out that it offsets anything we could ever put into it. The majority of Canadians live above this tiny little line under the bottom near the States. And the rest of Canada is trees. Okay? You cannot tax the environment it doesn't listen and then they're like well you're getting a rebate most people get more back no you don't no you don't okay because that carbon tax gets pushed down right from the moment the gas gets put into a truck or into a tractor to make your food to harvest your food to do everything from there to create a product the electricity that goes into a plant that makes a product okay all that gets passed down so everybody's like oh it's like 20 percent. by the time it gets to you it's compounded like a hundred times and then you're taxed again on the product spare me this bs okay i don't know why how i got on that but it's nothing is free. That's how I got on that. When you go to an all-inclusive resort, folks, you pay for it. It's not free. Okay? Vote out people who are dumb.
It's like 110 to 150 dollars a day. And then there's just like this. Ow! Yes. Totally stubbed her toe. <laughs> Seating area. Love it. Okay, now out. Spacious toe jam. But here, you guys, this is where the magic really happens. You guys, okay? this is where we have sex in public. You come outside. Because we're voyeurs. There's like this hammock, which you can also take down if you wanted. This chair area. Like I said, some rooms have the bathroom. It actually looks like a comfy ass chair, not gonna lie. Right here, I believe. A little seating area. And then look at this. Look at the trees! Like, I've looked at this a hundred times and I just made you jump off. Grasp. You jump off the balcony into there? Because I would totally do that if you were allowed. But it's real. And you can swim in you this. You can! You can jump off it! Ocean flows through here, so I don't know if you guys can see over there, but I got a few other videos of the fish that jump around. And then over there, you can kind of see the ocean. For those of you who have followed me through being diagnosed with severe OCD and my fear of water and- And me ruining my whole family and home and home wrecking and uh, blaming everybody else and lying to everybody on the internet and laughing at Oscar when we broke up in our video and then crying when the channel was over because the money was gone. If you've been through that with me and you're still a fan, why? Why are you? My fear of life and everything else. I really struggled going to- Wait, what'd you say? and my fear of water, and truly my fear of life, and everything else. Your fear of life. <laughs> I've really struggled going to oceanic places and seeing the ocean, so I really liked. How are you scared of the ocean? Like, you're scared to go in the ocean because there's sharks? I would understand that, right? Like, I don't like when there's jellyfish and weird things. I get that. But you're just scared of water? Is that why she doesn't shower? Like, I'm not, I'm not making fun of her. I'm asking honestly. Is it the reason why she's so nasty all the time and doesn't shower is because she's scared of water? Is she hydrophobic? That's the question. Does she have rabies? This because we get that like water view and we can still see the ocean over there, but it's not something that we're hearing the waves crashing and it's like right in front of the in front of the room, you know? So I, No, I don't know. I really prefer So she won't go on a cruise, that's for sure. Or like that, but like I said, they do have options. And you know if she ever did? It would be the cruise that has like the waviest friggin' it would be so crazy. You know what would happen to her because of her luck. And that you can see like the ocean way closer because the property's huge, but this is just the room that we have. Beautiful view, I must say. Beautiful room, I mean, and view. Well, the zit's there too, so beautiful zit. Husband's waiting outside for me to- Hi, Shmeng, let's go! You literally had to wait outside while you did this crappy video? <laughs> Alright, we changed outfits because we're changing- I mean, we. Changing activities, and you guys can tell- What are you wearing? Don't do that. Buy some of my pictures and videos, my sunburn. We need to switch up the lines here. Chat. What are we going to do? Yeah, she wants to see a sunburn. Let's see the sunburn. I'll show you the damn sunburn. I cannot believe she hasn't blocked me yet. Like, it's it's almost impressive. Here we go. You ready? <laughs> Who takes this picture? Why did you take it? Like, it's not flattering, first of all. It's like mid step. It's like, take a picture. Mid step. Is she posing like there's a foot off? Like, is he doing this on purpose? <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. Where's the sunburn now? Oh, and of course, Preston got shot on by a bird because totally, that's karma. That's awesome. Where's what I wrote? Hey, Kira, hey, Presticles, make sure you take a lot of unflattering photos of my ass, okay? Prestate, you got it, babe. And then they got her uh, her tryhards coming in. Isatagurm, I don't know what her name is. Isastgurm says, oh, hey, it's this sad old man commenting women's bodies. I'm not that old. Am I that old? I'm old. But check this out. Look at this up. <laughs> With the crooked ass tattoos on her back. What the fresh hell is that pink bathing suit? Don't you? <laughs> they don't show the replies though. <laughs> Glam by M says that zit hangs on longer than any of her relationships. <laughs> uh, apparently this is the dates of her babies and uh, she has a couple more. Where are they going to go? Oh, that mole is huge. You should honestly, someone said get that checked out. You should get that checked out. Like no joke. That is the size of a small planet. Um, and you should, those are things you should, like honestly, I'm not even making fun of you for this giant mole. I'm saying go get that checked out. That And you're getting sunburned on it? Like you need to see a dermatologist ASAP. I'm not even kidding. Go get that looked at. Again, eat and swim. Phone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I got this cover on Amazon, I'm not gonna lie. It's ugly. I'm really disappointed. The quality sucks. It's totally like sheer and see through. And Why do you care? You showed your boobs on YouTube. No, it's a swimsuit cover, but it's not like sheer and see through because it's meant to be. It's like the quality is, but I do love my sunglasses. Your quality is shit. Look at every second scene here is is out of focus. Learn to use your camera. 
Why does she still not show presticles? It's really weird. S-I-B. Yum. None of that looks good. All right, not my best lineup. Ew, mushrooms. Gross. Don't eat mushrooms on your pizza, guys. Okay, just don't do it. Don't do it. Today, but my belly's just not feeling it. Bread and soup. Filling up my body, filling up. Meal complete. I had like three pieces of bread. <laughs> Not sure how much of a meal that is. Well, this is good lighting. But that's okay. See if we can find a seat around here. Jackpot. Spent the rest of the afternoon at the pool and then went to steak dinner. Aranal. 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 This is the crappiest video ever. We should always forget they have a speakeasy, so I had to check it out. Is that a bar? A speakeasy's bar, right? And just like that, our honeymoon is over. That's the content you got out of your honeymoon? That's what you got? That's what you made? You gotta be kidding me right now. So sad to say. I feel like it was so long, but so short at the same time. It was long. <laughs> and you got 18 minutes of video out of that? That's all you did? I thought she was there for like eight days. That's crazy. After we were at the pool yesterday, we went and had dinner and we had steak. That's what I love about all inclusive. Like you go and have a steak dinner, a nice steak dinner. Yeah, I like steak dinners, I'm not gonna lie. I really do. And then you don't even pay anything, it's crazy. I'm still in my swimsuit because we still have a couple hours before we have to go to the airport. So we're gonna eat, people watch the pool again, our favorite activity. Look how- You like people watching? <laughs> yeah. They're like, it's almost like they're stocking for their next victim kind of things. They're like, we should ask her. She wants to have a threesome. Try that fish is. I'm not ever going to experience a view like this again, I think, in my life. What if you just got the room next year again? Then you could. If this is too pretty. I mean, there's more. We did go to the spa this morning and experience like lifting my boobs. <laughs> the hydrotherapy, that was really cool. And then the massage itself was really nice. The point being, we're going to have to come back. Okay. You're not going back there. But it is nice, I'll give them that. We stored our luggage with the front desk and then we were off on our last extravaganza. We actually wanted to paddleboard, but they didn't. I think she meant to say, what did she mean to say? Excursion. I honestly think she meant to say excursion, but she said extravaganza. And she meant to say excursion. I'm not kidding. I have any at this time, so we went to kayaking instead. I'm we, scared of water, let's kayak. We were off, it was so sad to leave, but I was so happy to be home with the kiddos and the kitties. They weren't though, they were like, I wanna stay at dad's house. Please. Anyway, let's read some more hate comments. Might get that mole checked. Shine, not burn. Interesting tattoo. What's the story behind it? Oh, this comment. Isn't it ironic how she was a gringa with an adventurous Mexican and now she's an adventurer in Mexico with a gringo? <laughs> That's awesome. What a great comment. I love these comments. Like, some of you are so miserable. Imagine taking time to comment on a person you don't like. Blah, blah, blah. You're, you're, as, you're as weird as everybody else too then. Because you're sitting here trying to stand up for somebody who's a trash heap. Don't go to bat for people that are gross. Just shut your mouth. If you don't like what other people have to say, shut your pie hole. No one cares what you have to say. She deserves it. Dumbass. Skin cancer is not a flex. And that's true. If you're going to influence people, be like, don't do this. They don't. What a joke the both of you are. The funny part is you both downgraded, but trash belongs together. It's true. Trash and trash. Y'all are glowing. Proof that the right person you can do anything. Especially break up families. People who like think that this is okay, are you okay? You deserve that sunburn, Troy says. Skin cancer has entered the chat. Yuck, pee stain again. <laughs> anyway, there you go, everybody. Here's Kira's amazing winking. <laughs> now what's she gonna do? So I thought she was gonna think, she, I think she thinks she was gonna have like an, an, a reversible moment. Everybody's like, look, it's I'm on my new thing and we're good to go. It's always, I always like checking out the Reddit too, actually. I'm not one to beg on people's appearances, but I can't be the only one who thinks she looks a lot worse since leaving Oscar. Not only does she look like she hit a wall, but she genuinely looks more sickly depressed. Her clothing choices are solid one out of 10. Like normally when people leave a genuinely terrible relationship, they have this inner glow or they're happy and it shows where she looks like a flailing hot mess. It's a really great comment because this is exactly what's happening, right? She, she thought she'd be, she's the type of person that makes really brash decisions, right? She does, she's very ADHD, just like me. She makes quick decisions. She doesn't care about anything else but herself. And she thought she'd leave Oscar for something better and it's not better. And she thought the internet would be with her and the internet not, is not with her, especially after we found out the truth, right? She thought she could just go on living the way that she did and just continue to, she's not happy. Everybody can see that she's not happy, right? But she has to fake it. And that's the danger of influencer culture. 
All of these people fake their lives so you can see how good they have it. And it's all a bullshit lie. And it's even more dangerous and detrimental to them. Okay, it's really crazy how scary it is for them and their kids because their kids have to live through all this garbage and through all the turmoil on the back end and all the anger and the fighting and everything else because they're not liked, they're hated. So that's a really, really, really important comment. She looks like she has been destroyed and she did it to herself. I think she changes who she is based on the guy she is with. I think Oscar liked a more put together pretty woman with makeup and hair done who dresses pretty and he seems to have more class. Preston, on the other hand, probably doesn't care about this stuff and will bone her white trash looking ass and his horn dog and doesn't need to put any effort in. So therefore, her lazy ass isn't going to put the effort. And she got her boobs for him and everything else, right? The grass isn't always greener. It's hitting her now how bad she messed up. Her gravy train is dried up and she's obviously stressed out. That's true. I think it's a stress also being snarked on 24 seven. She said in a live while back that she can't wait to get married so they can have a clean slate or something along those lines and for it to be official so they can show the haters. I think they both are getting married would stop the hate for some reason. It's not going to stop the hate. She's stuck in a fair fog. People have affairs because they're unhappy in life and they hate themselves. But because she's chose to marry the person she had the affair with instead of getting a reality check and healing herself, she's trapped in as long as she stays with Preston. That's a pride issue too. Like she can't be proven wrong. She can't tell it because she's always run the show. She always has, even in the, in the videos we saw with Roscoe, she has to be the forefront of everything. She has to be at all. She can't admit that she's wrong here. I made a post earlier this year with pictures from when she was with Oscar until the point of the post I had made, and you can see a drastic change in her face and happiness. It's in her eyes. She definitely looks like she's ra aging rapidly since leaving Oscar, but I'm sure she's more stressed out than she's ever been. Yeah. See, things she changed her lifestyle completely. The, 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 the river of money is not flowing anymore. When Oscar, I think she honestly thought her and Oscar would continue the OK Baby show, and then when he shut it down, that's when she had the biggest breakdown on the internet. Remember that video? She was bawling her eyes out. She was unconsolable. It was crazy. And that was the only time we ever saw her like that was when the money train was drying up. I think Oscar helped her make better choices. Also, he edited their content. It was nice enough to leave out the ugly parts. Yeah, that's a big one. Oscar helped her make better choices. That's what I think. Saving money, held her back from making crappy choices, whereas Preston doesn't care. She lets him, she lets him raw dog other women. So that's just, he doesn't really give a crap. Plus she has all the money and she runs the show. And that's why it's a bad, it's just bad. It's all, it's just downgrade all completely all around. So there you go, everybody. Garbage video by a garbage person. Everybody take a deep breath. <sighs> the cold has almost left my body. Almost. We're almost there. A couple of nights of NyQuil. It's been pretty good. Those NyQuil sleeps hit different, right? Like, <laughs> I like talk my sleep the whole time. It was great. But guys, I hope you're not getting sick. I hope your allergies are at bay. Please t be safe, okay, out there. But enjoy this vitamin D. Get out there and get some D right into you, okay? Get it into you. You need that to feel good, to be healthy. Get outside, do some stuff with your kids. I'm building a swing set. I'm very excited for my kids to have a sweet ass swing set, like a tall one too. They're gonna get some serious air. Wifey doesn't even know. It's gonna be hilarious. Anyway, thank you for being here and always being a part of the show. I really appreciate you guys. You are incredible. All right, I'll see you guys when I see you.